and by the time Coz had reached the age of six, his family had left the farm and relocated in the city of Tehran. We had a, a gym, like gym business. People come work out and training, and then have a good sh shower, sauna, massage, physical therapy. My father and mother, they had a business. I was seven years old. Most famous sport in Persia at that time, that age I was, was a freestyle wrestling and Greco-Roman and Lara Champion come to my club of the father. I started wrestling in all country Tehran because only wish I had in my life to be someday world champion, Olympic champion, because it was a very popular sport that times in Iran capital of the Iran, Tehran, and I was lucky, I was a bunch of, I was run a bunch of great wrestler, and that was my hobby, and that was my number one uh, major sport in the high school wrestling. Nineteen sixty four Tokyo, Japan, the greatest champion we had, Olam Reza Tahdi. And uh, besides the wrestling, people love Tahdi because Tahdi luck like, was like Jesus, like uh, uh, Muhammad, like the uh, what I call Michael Jordan for wrestling sport. That much people respect uh, Tahdi. He was the greatest human being we had in the Persian history, besides wrestling, he was the biggest baby face, biggest human being with a heart. Uh, and then they said, Tahti commit suicide. That's against my religious, to Tahti commit suicide. So I'll be honest with you, since, since Tahti died or killed the Tahti, I just a sport to me was nothing like before, it, but it still I cannot forget about my sport wrestling. So that why I said I'm going to compete, I'm going to still love my sport wrestling, but different country. I was lucky I made it to Minnesota, to America. I was a AAU champion besides Iranian Olympic wrestling champion, number one, toughest sport in the world. That's because I go in the ring, I wear that Iranian Olympic wrestling singlet, and also I wear America, and I love wrestling. And only thing I did all my life, Ya Allah, Ya Muhammad, Ya Ali. <laughs> Like I said, I was lucky I grew up in the oldest country in the world, Iran, with the freestyle and Greco-Roman toughest sport in the world game and Olympic game and army. And I come to the Minnesota, which was good first years. I was a coach, assistant coach, uh, uh, assistant Mr. Alan Rice, too. I make the team be the best for amateur. But later on, I found out uh, it's good to have that gold medal. All of us is there, people never forgot. But I found that I cannot eat the gold medal. If I take it to the supermarket, I cannot get a banana or an apple with my gold medal. So I decided to I go professional to make better living. Well, Greco-Roman, toughest to America. But also I found out professional sport is not easy to anybody can come right away, be a wrestler, professional, or champion. We had many greatest champion in professional America, like Mr. Vurgania, Lutez. So from the start, I was a serious for professional, and I was, was lucky I had the greatest uh, teacher, Billy Robinson from London, Mr. Billy Robinson, and also Mr. Vurgania from Midwest. 